Hey, what is everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're here with some APS. And today I am super excited to be hopping back in here uh, and just playing this game. It's been forever and I've wanted to play, but I haven't been able to have everything set up correctly. I finally got my wheel to work uh, not terribly bad. Still working on some kinks, but right now we are going to be heading from Phoenix, Arizona here. We got the car gun market. We're going to be going from Phoenix, Arizona to Eugene, Oregon. We're going to pick up our load now. Uh, it's going to be some uh, Pepsi, I guess, to Taco Bell in the Eugene, Oregon. So pretty cool. We're going to head up north here, and we're eventually going to work our way back down through all these other states. I don't have Wyoming or Montana, unfortunately, or Texas. I will be getting those here soon, and we'll be doing some Texas stuff itself just because that's a big hit right now. Yeah, so let's go ahead and hop on out of here. Let me get here correct. And we were just parked here at this Walmart distribution center, I think it is. Look right up here. Turn left. Get on out. That. Gonna be straight down here. Or what it looks like. Leave. Get ready to turn left. Speed limit is 25. Turn left. The two. But this truck is a lot better. I have it set up fairly nice. Uh, this is a custom made truck. Custom bot truck. Ooh. Like that, see, it's a little finicky still. But yeah, it's, it's definitely. I'm gonna go ahead and get on the interstate here. Right. Yeah, like I said, I'm super excited to be back into the ATS stuff. I've been wanting to do it for a while. So I'm do that, but but uh, yeah, I'm finally back into it. Uh, I want to get my wheel set up completely so it's not super touchy because it's still kind of touchy, as you can see. But uh, yeah, and I also want to get a mounting plate for the wheels and stuff because. When I play it, I kind of use my my feet, push it backwards, so I kind of have to keep right, judge it, and then exit right. Kind of sometimes uh, readjust it with my feet while I'm driving, which is kind of dangerous because I can't hit the brakes like So exit right. Yeah, I want to look at getting that mounted. I want to get a wheel and uh, like a like a racing rig, Turn left. but they're kind of expensive, so. Maybe a while for that. But the one thing I really want to upgrade is I want to get track the track IR set up. Come on. So I don't have to use my mouse and kind of look around because that's super weird. And it really just throws me off when I do it. So. Keep left, and then turn left. Okay, so we're turning left here. Turn left. Turn right, and then turn left. Yep. Turn left. Like we're going to a U here we are safe and sound facility. Okay. All right, we're gonna go to cargo market here, and it looks like it's going from yep, that's the one. We could do Idaho, number one, but I kind of want to do 
the Eugene, Oregon. Games consoles, Pepsi, the whatever. That doesn't seem right. But yeah. We're just going to do, I guess, video games. 20,000 pounds of them. Okay. Seems, uh, seems accurate. Accurate. Okay, so it looks like we're parking right there. Okay, cool, cool. Shouldn't be super hard to back up, but I'm also a pretty terrible ATSer. And yeah, this this lot here, I've done this before, I believe. Um, this isn't meant for. Nope. This lot is not meant for a big thing. Pull up one more time, and this should get us straight back. There it was. Get the dock. There you go. Actually, you can't hit the dock in this game, I forgot. E. The trailer. Let's All do right. this. Next morning, go ahead and head out. So I want to talk about a few things in today's episode of ATS. Um, one thing just being some channel updates, right. stuff like that, um, along with some Turn future left. little updates and stuff, and just um, what's going on in my personal life, Turn right. and what you should expect, expect from the channel in the future. The first thing up is um, the channel particular uh, we recently just hit 700 subscribers Get ready to turn right. and I really want to say thank you to everybody who has subscribed and watching the videos it really means a lot I do have to give a shout out to a few people turn they probably right. don't watch this video but I just want to go ahead and shout them out anyways that is mainly the whole OCRP community which if you guys don't know OCRP is a uh, GTA 5 roleplay server I play in this is your first video of mine and uh, yeah, the community there is super, super amazing and generous, and uh, just very supportive of everybody. Keep right. And, and then turn also, right. uh, Matt, uh, Officer Three Eleven, has definitely helped turn a lot right. because he's given me a couple different shoutouts along with some other members. But keep left. Yeah, I just want to say thanks to them. Keep left. Okay, and there we go. So, yeah, we just hit 700, which is pretty crazy just because, um, literally, I guess the first of the year, we just hit 500. We're getting 200 subs in what seems to be 15 days. What? And 15 days is absolutely insane because it took me many years to get 200 subscribers. And it's all thanks to the OCRP community. Yeah, we're gonna be sitting in a little bit of traffic here, it looks like. I've never had this happen before. Somebody, 
Alter. Oh, we're jackasses. What is happening here? What? What is this? Oh my god. Not even playing that. But yeah, that was uh, something I've never saw before in this game. That's pretty cool. But yeah, accidents on the spot. Yeah, I just want to say thanks for all the support recently. Keep and uh, like I said, it means a lot. I just can't say that enough. And yeah, we're almost to a thousand, which is pretty cool because, right, dick bag. Yeah, we're almost to a thousand, which is super cool. I want to hit a thousand. I'll probably hit a thousand uh, before maybe mid February is what it's kind of looking like at this point. This truck does kind of struggle to get up to speed, which is quite frustrating. It's a good truck otherwise, but yeah, it just it sucks getting up to speed. The channel updates uh, in particular with, uh, they're just some general channel updates. Um, I'm going to be kind of cutting back on the OCRP a bit. I'm not going to be doing the daily videos on that in particular, but I will be doing daily videos with other stuff too. Um, it just It's just because mainly um, I work during the week from about 4 p.m. to 12.30 to 2.30 a.m., depending on if we're in overtime or not, which in this current time we are. So I will be working until 2.30 a.m. pretty much every day, which means everybody's off the server by like 1.30. And that means I can't record during the week. So my only two days really are Saturday and Sunday because I can, you know, stay up on Sunday because I don't have to work very early. But those are my only two days, and I try to record at least two to three a night so that way I have like four to six videos. But sometimes that doesn't happen. Sometimes the server isn't hot popping off on the weekend it happens um if that's the case i kind of want to cut back just in case that does happen so i'm going to be posting about three to four a week i kind of have a schedule set up for the next couple months of what i would like to do so i'm going to be trying to follow in that which i'm going to kind of post the schedule on screen now and uh, or like in the description down below i'll leave like a little schedule for the next like two months ish or like the next month ish really how that goes and if that works I'll continue it and if I can produce more OCRP per week I will do that also but I just wanted to give you guys a heads up who subscribed for OCRP that it definitely was not going anywhere because for one I love that series I love the server I love RPing and everything like that but it's just kind of hard to record with my current um, schedule at my job And with that being said, um, since, since I kind of, I work weird hours, I'm having to find other games to record. So this is going to be a kind of a, a regular-ish series. I kind of want to do like one a week if I can keep up with that because these episodes are pretty hard to film. You know, you have to sit here for like an hour driving or something like that, you know, to record one. But I also don't have very many life updates, you know, to talk about in all these episodes. That's kind of what an ATS video is. It's kind of just talking about stuff that's happened or whatever. But I'll try to 
keep these videos sort of entertaining and just kind of relaxed. You know, I kind of want to do just maybe some long haul trucking like this and uh, and maybe just I don't talk the entire time. Maybe I talk for here and there, but it's something that you guys can just watch. And like if you just like trucking videos, I can just literally drive, you know, drive from like this route, just driving, not talking or whatever, maybe doing talking parts in between. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, what you would think of that. And I kind of want to turn this off. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think about that. Um, if that's something you guys might be interested in, uh, let me know because I can do that. That's That'd be super easy because I love just getting in here and driving on ATS. So that's not a problem to do. But I just, I love the sound of ATS, especially, um, I, th I think this is a mod in that makes this truck sound like this. If not, just the base game, but it sounds super amazing and realistic. I just love trucks in general and trucking. I I've kind of wanted to get my CDLs for quite a few years, but just haven't really bit the bullet on it. But uh, I, I, I really would like to in the near future because I love trucking and uh, I've been wanting to do it for probably 10 years. So, I may end up doing that at some point. Go straight on. You can tell we're getting into a townish area because traffic is getting a little bit worse. Yeah, also with with the updates I just said about some series and everything, I kind of, I'm going to be doing, um, basically, this is what I'm going to be doing on the channel from here on out for the, like, the next few months at least. It's going to be OCRP, like, two to three times a week, maybe four, um, some ATS, Reddit Reacts, and I want to bring back LSPDFR. I haven't done that in, like, four years. And I've been having an itch and seeing like Jeff bring it back. A few other people I'm subscribed to kind of still playing it and just producing some good content. It's kind of making me want to get back into it. It's just I have to go through and set it all up and all that. And that's a tedious, tedious task if you've ever set up LSPDFR. But it's definitely something I want to get back into. I just, I really loved the LSPDFR stuff. I also wanted to kind of give some 5M stuff a try on the channel, but that's basically impossible because I don't have a group of people to play with. I might be able to get some people from like OCRP to like get on and kind of RP or do some stuff like that, but um, it might be kind of hard. I don't know. Yeah, I have some good ideas for future episodes of ATS. I have a list of stuff I want to do and kind of try out and everything. Along with, I want to do some like Texas, Wyoming, and Montana stuff because 
those are some pretty cool cities to explore. I want to do some like oil field trucking and stuff because um, where I grew up in West Virginia, um, it was a lot of oil field, and um, yeah, I just think it'd be kind of cool to do some stuff like that and uh, just kind of be like in the environment because that's what I got, that's what I've done for work before too. So it'd be kind of cool to do that. Also, Montana and Wyoming, Go straight on. there's a lot of stuff there like that. And just I want to do some like logging stuff up in like Washington and stuff, Oregon and all that. Just got to get that set up also. Also, having all this equipment, trying to play this game, like my wheel, pedals, mic, mouse, keyboard, everything, it's a bit of a setup to have just sitting on your desk at all times. Uh, like right now, I am laid back in my kind of gaming chair, and I have my mic. I'm having to readjust it because I'm trying to find a like comfortable spot to put it so I can you know comfortably drive because this is going to be a super long trip we're already like 25 minutes into the recording and oh my god shut up i know i'm speeding um and we're like halfway there not even i kind of want to post this kind of raw ish i might cut some stuff out but i kind of just want to put the whole episode up and just have like a nice long trucking episode I know a lot of people like that. Some people don't like the long stuff, but in, per in my personal opinion, I love just long ATS videos. Like Jeff recently posted one, I think it was like over an hour. I sat there and watched the entire thing in bed because on my TV, it's just, it's amazing. Like it's just to watch someone else drive, chat, and just, you know, kind of hang out for like an hour. And that's the type of content I try to go for. I kind of make it uh, feel like you're included in it. Um, maybe sometimes not with the OCRP with how crazy and stuff it gets, but in general, I try to make content people kind of, you know, I think would enjoy because I, just, I do stuff that I think I would enjoy personally. And uh, ATS with, you know, a little bit of like mishaps here and there, like me going like, swerving off the road or cutting a corner too sharp or cutting this car off a little bit rudishly or speeding you know, that's stuff people do every day and taking everything too serious kind of I don't know it's not fun like I get it as people play ATS to kind of have that realism oh shit nine over A thousand bucks, man. Arizona, don't mess around, bro. Okay, I'm getting in this lane and I'm stop speeding. Carlsbad. Is that California? I think it's California. That has to be California because that was a California Highway Patrol backer, I believe. And this interstate don't mess around. It's 55 the entire way. We're coming up on Los Angeles, I believe. All right, so it looks like we got about 950 miles left, which seems like a lot, but we've already drove like maybe 300. So at this rate, we should be done in about 40-ish minutes. Or no, it'd be a little bit longer than that, probably. Probably like probably close to an hour left still. Bro. I gotta 
past you. Nope, nope, no, no. Yeah, I want to do some ATS streams here in the future. Oh my god, okay. How are they not getting a speeding ticket? Yeah, in the future, I want to do some ATS streams. I think that'd be pretty fun. And I kind of want to do them like drunk driving style to have a little bit of fun and everything. I've saw a couple people do that. Most notably, uh, Schlatt or Jay Schlatt, whatever you want to call him. Uh, I saw him do a couple of them, and I think they're pretty fun and hilarious. Especially if you have like an audience there to kind of engage with. Keep which left. hopefully at this point, I would have a few people show up. Um, that's kind of why I want to grow the channel. I want to have, you know, interactions. I want to have live stream that are fun for everybody and interactive and everything. Man, my, uh, I'm physically hurting for this long. Why? I think it's because I've been sitting all day because I've been off work. Recording videos Keep and left. doing stuff on my computer. And it's, uh, it's physically hurting me at this point. Also, if you guys have made it this far and uh, you guys play any Truckers MP or something like that, or uh, Convoys or anything, uh, let me know in the comments down below. And I would love to uh, you know get some people in here and do some Trucking Convoys. Uh, it would have to be on like, the weekend and stuff, maybe. But I would definitely be down for that. Um, I think we're good on fuel, but I should probably... Alright, so it looks like we're good on fuel. We might need to be sleeping here soon. We'll have to pull over and find a hotel because we do not have a bed. Yeah, the company decided, you know, hey, we don't need a sleeper cab. We're going 1,200 miles. This is a rush delivery, and they were like, hey, we need you to go and just book a hotel if you need to, but don't sleep. Oh, cool, I can bypass the way station. Early Christmas present. Alright, the next uh, exit we come upon, we're going to be pulling over to get some sleep and also to um, get gas because we want to top off and just have enough to get to uh, Eugene, Oregon, or yeah, Oregon. It'd also be nice if the speed limit was not 55 and was like 570, which would be a wonderful. I don't know if that's a setting I have turned on that you can only go 55 or if trucks go slower because I know that's an option. Um, I should check that, but I don't feel like it. So we're just going to suffer through with 55. Also, it is California. So, go straight on. Um, you know how California is with their laws? They're like, hey, trucks didn't go faster than 55. Sorry if you live in California and that offended you, but California is not very good on their lawmaking skills. This is bad as Washington. Come on, buddy. Get up there, Barilla. Was it Stevens Transport? And in Dallas, Texas. Been to Dallas once. Pretty cool city. Would like to go back. <clears throat> so if you guys do not know um, what I do for a living right now, uh, because that has changed fairly frequently over the last two years, but right now I currently work at a uh, trucking warehouse. Um, known as Ryder, as don't know, um, they are uh, they're, they're fairly small-ish. Um, 
Yeah, so I worked in the, in the warehouse there, and I take care of um, the paperwork side of things, like trailers and uh, quality, or not quality, but like making sure everything's okay, A-OK -okay to be released, to send on to the uh, recipient of the freight. They're pretty much like FedEx. They just handle all kinds of freight. And so, yeah, it's a pretty cool job, pretty relaxed. I get to, like, take my laptop Go and shit in talk. and uh, kind of play around on it, do whatever, as long as I do, you know, whatever I have to do for work when it comes up. I don't put it off because as long as I get the work done, they don't care at all. I mean, as long as I complete my job each night. It's not that I have to do the paperwork or anything right then and there, but... Um, yeah, it's definitely recommended to do that. Okay, this has gotten a little ridiculous here. They've been going 155 for about 10 miles, so that's not Go cool, bro. Sorry, buddy, I'm cutting you off. This loves triple up here, bro. Throw me up. I'm trying to get places, bro. But yeah, I mean, uh, currently, guys, um, right now is not too bad of a time in my life. Um, you know, I like it, I like my job. YouTube channels doing phenomenal, and uh, I really couldn't be any happier. I mean, I could could also be more financially that, but both of those things I cannot control. Right? I can technically, but uh, as I just had to do a little cut there, I had to readjust stuff. All again, kind of um, if sitting here so long. And my foot pedal just like slid off underneath my foot, so I had to grab that. <clears throat> Go straight on. I think you. Thank you, ATS, for telling me to go straight on. Appreciate that. Uh, fence you got there. So yeah, guys, just to kind of recap some stuff over a little bit. Um, I'm really excited where the channel is headed. I'm really excited for the growth we've uh, accomplished in the last like four months since I've been doing very consistent videos Go straight on. and with with a couple periods of time where I haven't posted in the last month which was right before Christmas and then right after up until this week um, things were just kind of hectic um, traveling back and forth from Indiana to West Virginia for Christmas and then just kind of getting the hang of this new job schedule and Go straight on. everything with that it's been kind of crazy and kind of unpredictable when I can record and stuff like that. Also, I've just been super tired trying to put in some extra hours because I didn't have a lot of hours around Christmas time. So that really was hurting the first couple checks of the year. So I really tried to put in a little bit of extra time just to get some overtime in. And luckily this week I will have a lot of extra overtime so this next check of mine should be decent and 
I kind of want to do something for hitting a thousand subs whenever that is here in the next month or so probably and I really want to do like a giveaway of some sort I don't know if I want it to be like a monetary thing uh, like I just like send somebody money um, or like a game or some physical products or something like that let me know what you guys think in the comments down below I kind of want to do that here in the next week or so announce it that way it gives it you know a few weeks to build up and uh, we can get some people in here or get some people um, actually entered into it because you know how YouTube is you don't always see everything that your subscriber or you use, the people you subscribe to post but yeah I want to I want to launch that in the discord here soon so if you guys aren't already in the discord go ahead and join now so you can be entered to win whatever I decide to end up giving away uh, I want it to be kind of nice you know um, at least a decent value for you know getting a thousand subs um, we'll probably host one at like five or ten thousand also for like maybe a higher prize type thing I really want to give away like some type of like PC or something for like 10k subs I know that's a, a ways down the road possibly but um, I just want to throw it out there and let everybody know what I'm thinking because I want to give back to the people who Go support for me. And, uh, yeah, I want to do it with a small audience, too, because um, when all these, like, bigger people host this stuff, it it really gets um, really hard to win or really even be considered in those types of things. So I kind of want to do that while I'm kind of smaller, while I uh, might not be able to necessarily technically afford it um or afford a lot of stuff but i think this will be cool you know regardless of whatever it is we're just now in sacramento that's pretty cool the little city skyline up there i really can't wait till they get to the midwest because the Midwest is where I spend a lot of my time, you know. I'm from West Virginia. I've traveled to pretty much every state in the Midwest. Well, not like mid-Midwest, but like East Midwest. <laughs> so, like, you know, I've been to like Oklahoma, Arkansas, Indiana, Iowa, um, the state next to Iowa, whatever that is, <laughs> Missouri. Uh, you know, I've been to all those states. I haven't been like to... Like Colorado and stuff like that but um, eventually I want to head out there and do some exploration this year um, that's kind of one of my goals this year is to travel just a little bit more than I've done in previous years Keep this it. year I actually have a lot of stuff coming up um, just like traveling wise uh, I have a few like festivals and stuff you guys are familiar with like Louder Than Life and uh, um, yeah, that's pretty much the only one I'm going to this year uh, but I want to do some traveling to like other states I really want to go to like Colorado or something this year uh, I want to try and go to like to Utah or something because I think that'd be pretty cool and if you guys don't know I do have a personal channel um, it's just my name um, you can find it in the description down below it's my leak tree um, page if you just click that you can go there and it's my name I'm not going to say that in this video, just in case uh, I change my mind or anything. <laughs> so, yeah, there's that. Um, but go check it out, guys. Subscribe. I'm going to be doing like some personal type videos there, like lifestyle, EDC, um, if you guys are into that type of stuff. Um, I think it'd be pretty... I think it, I think if you're into, you know, EDC technology, stuff like that, you'll be into this channel. And I'm going to be doing some traveling stuff. And I'm going to be posting it there also. Uh, I'm trying to do like weekly-ish videos on there. They're not as consistent as here. But still kind of consistent. And that's just a big goal of mine this year. I want to grow this channel into a nice little following. Um, just because you know I've been trying to grow this channel for many years. And it's just now to the point of where I'm consistent enough. I have a loyal 
like fan base of the type of content I make. Not necessarily me in particular, but just the content I make, which is OCRP and, uh, you know, just uh, these types of games that people are into. That's pretty cool train there. Rest area one mile. Um, I need to check and see how much gas and stuff I have real quick. Uh, so it looks like we're needing gas, definitely. So what we're going to do here is we're going to pull off on this rest area. Um, do they have gas? I can't tell. Can't tell if they have gas. Okay, let's find a new route. Oh, trucks. Turn right. That's where you go. All right, we are rested now. We need to find a gas station. Is there one here? I don't know if there is one here. I don't think there is. So we're going to have to find one here down the road. loving all this uh the real life stuff i put in like snyder prime cat crst walmart all that i really wanted to add that because i think that adds a lot of realism into this and i think people enjoy seeing that stuff in the game because i know i do in particular i know they can't do it themselves because they would have to license everything but i'm just i'm just glad there's mod support for that because um, that really adds a lot of realism to this game, which is one reason people play this game is for the realism and just the uh, the real life experience, you know, that you kind of get with it. We're gonna get an exit here also because we need to get gas. We're like really low. It hasn't told us yet, Finding surprisingly, me. but. Will here soon. Penske Logistics. Go straight on. Sorry, bud, we're not doing that. I'm gonna look this way. Nothing coming. Rerouting. Time to get the job done. We're heading straight up here. Go straight on. To the left is what it looks like. I guess technically we could turn right, it looks like. I think it's a uh, there. If I'm not mistaken. The travel store, Petro. 
gonna go ahead and head to the shell because I know this is a gas station. Oh no, that is a gas station. I think I'm just gonna go over here. Keep left and then turn left. No, that's a Chevron. I'm gonna go to like the. I'm gonna go over here. Sorry, 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 sorry. Turn left. Head in here and get gas. Right, so it looks like we had a little less than 80 gallons left because this is a 200 gallon truck I believe is what I bought yeah so we're gonna head back out of here we're just gonna make a little loop loop here man I really want to spend that 150 bucks and get the track IR I don't have it but um, that's definitely going to be coming out of a paycheck here soon. Um, if anyone is feeling generous and wants to donate hip $150, um, your boy would be greatly, greatly appreciative. I'm not serious, kind of, but not really. I definitely can buy it myself. It's a big truck for such a small trailer, bro. <clears throat> now, I know there are programs and stuff for, like, webcams, which I've tried that before. I also had a shitty webcam when I did it, but I also kind of still have a shitty webcam. It's a Microsoft Life Cam Studio thing, and they're not very good, but... I definitely want to invest in uh, a new webcam also because I want to do webcam trucking videos. I also want to do like a wheel cam type thing, which I can do that now if I wanted to, but I just don't have the Keep right and then turn right. I don't know. I don't have the really the hardware to do it. I want to get turn a right. I really want to get a uh, an Elgato Amlink because those things work how they're supposed to. I have a cheap USB one, which don't get me wrong, it works, but it doesn't, it, it, it lags behind the audio. So that's super bad for stuff like this, where in real time, what is happening show up real time on the video. Or they just be flying out. Yeah, so I, I eventually I'm gonna have all that. Uh, it's just gonna take a little bit of time, probably a month or two. Damn it! Please pull in for a weigh inspection. Weight inspection. Keep left. Pull in for an inspection. Inspection ahead. Or is it over here? I think it's straight ahead. It's over here. Oh, it's a two-laner. Okay, cool. Cool. Recomputing. 
My vehicle gross weight is 50,000 pounds. Buddy, get over. Keep left. Keep left. Man, this scenery is beautiful. Oh my god, look at this. Bro, look at that. Yeah, I'm a little swervy, but oh my god, that's amazing. to get a little bit of a screenshot there so I kind of messed some stuff up but yeah it's like that sometimes when you got to get these uh, beautiful screenshots
and this scenery is just freaking absolutely gorgeous. Keep left. I know this is uh, just a game and everything and not everything like this is like in real life but just seeing this scenery here in the northern California to like Oregon Washington with just the big pine trees this scenery oh my god it's making me want to travel there even more than I ever did before like I see pictures all the time of like Oregon Washington and just like the roads with the pine trees and like the curvy roads and like dark rainy forests and stuff and that is the type of stuff I absolutely love like if it weren't so far away from everything I know I would almost a hundred percent move there because it's just an amazing beautiful scenery And because it's so beautiful, everything is super expensive. So I wouldn't be able to afford to live there, even if I did. But um, it, it's the thought that counts, I guess. Like, I'm going to go visit there eventually. Hopefully, like, this year would be super cool. I'd love to go up there in, like, November, December. Because, for one, it snows a lot there in that time period. So... I want to see that area with snow and rain because it just it looks gorgeous. DHL action there. Point of, point of entry? I don't know what that sign said. I was going... I was going too quick. Not too quick, but like, you're going fast and the game doesn't register. What? Another one. Rerouting. Turn right. Okay. Let's find a new route.
Uh, my vehicle is not in very good standards or whatever it said. Please be careful next time. What? What's the freaking speed limit? Thanks, buddy, for slowing down. Appreciate it, my man. Oh, speed limit 65 now. Sweet. Got a little Amazonio action here. Amazonians. What they call their employees, which is stupid. I've worked at multiple Amazon warehouses, and every time the sign outside is Amazonians start here. Yeah, I bet you they do. Alright, so it looks like we have about less than 200 miles left to go on this trip. So, not too much longer. And we've already been going an hour and 20 minutes. I did not realize how long of a trip this actually was. Like, it's, it's super long. truck is drunk bro Sam's Club's hitting the whiskey that's one thing I want to get back in here is a good engine brake you guys know of any good mods for ATS let me know down in the comments below I'd really appreciate it like, uh, basically I want good engine noises um, I mean this is good like what do you hear here but if I can find something a little bit better and a little bit more realistic that would be great and also a very good engine brake like I want something that sounds amazing like I don't know what other people use and never find it or it's a paid thing or something like that but uh, yeah, I want a good engine brake. Stayed there. I believe that's a real company. BHL. Again. See a lot of those on the road. I think DHL is a big company in like this area.
canyon bill. I will tell you guys one thing. I have been up um, for like 20 hours at this point. Uh, probably not. I've been up for like 18 hours. And uh, it's definitely hit me at this point. Uh, just driving. <laughs> uh, I, I do love playing this game and everything, but um, it's not a good game to play when you're tired because, for one, it makes you more tired. That's why I'm not like super, super energetic. I still try to, you know, make sure my videos aren't like monotone and stuff like that. I really try to change like the inflection of my voice and everything. Or in, or in inflection? 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 I don't know. Whatever that word is that you change the pitch and everything. I try to do that even if I am a little bit tired. But sometimes it doesn't come through in the audio because the way I have my mic set up or the, the filters I apply to it or something like that. But yeah, I don't know. So yeah, just um just to like kinda go back on the subject of like channel and stuff, I really want to upgrade some stuff on my setup. Um one thing I really want to get is it's not really necessary, but I would really love to get a better uh, Mike, I want the Shure SM7B, but that thing is like 400 bucks, and I'm not about to just spend that when, um, you know, I have other stuff I need and want before I get that, because I have an AT2020, and it's decent, so I'll keep that until, like, it breaks, or, you know, I can't afford that in, like, six months to a year. Oh, good, I can bypass. But uh, one thing I really want to upgrade here soon on my PC, which I'm going to have to, is a new hard drive. I'm probably going to get that next paycheck, which uh, this video is coming out like Tuesday-ish, Monday, Tuesday, something like that. So by Friday, um, which is like the 20th-ish, I think, something like that, uh, I'm going to be getting the new hard drive because I only have two in the new PC. And I do have like six in the other but I would rather just get a brand new hard drive because I don't know how old those are. I forget which ones I put in when. The one hard drive I know it's in there is like two terabyte, but it's like from 2015. And I think that's the one that's kind of running slow. So I don't know, I just want to get a brand new hard drive. I might just refurbish that one and put it on my PC just to have it. But yeah, I don't know yet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure that out when time comes. Uh, Cause I, I'm running out of recording space very quickly. Uh, I have like 20 gigs left, which is basically like one to two OCRP videos. So having to record on my C drive now, which has like uh, 400 megs left, so I have a good bit to put on there, but I don't want to run the chance of filling that up also and then having like no space on my PC until I can get a drive. So yeah, I'm going to try and do that, clear that off and everything. Uh, I plan on upgrading my online Google uh, Drive base. I think they have like a two terabyte one. But then again, I might also go with like something like Dropbox to cloud store my videos. Because if something happens there and it goes down, they're responsible for the data. So I don't know how that in particular that is with that. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know if you're supposed to store like stuff you want to keep there. But what I eventually want to do is get my own uh, personal storage server to upkeep all my videos because I like keeping a backlog. Or I like to keep all my videos kind of in the raw form. Um, I don't know why. I just, I've always done that. I haven't deleted like pretty much any video since the inception of all my videos. Um, there are some stuff that goes missing every now and then just when I swap PCs or reformat or something like that but for the most part I've pretty much kept everything from the inception of this channel in particular I just like having the 
the the raw footage you know just to if i ever want to go back and look at it i'll have to download it and then it's in lesser quality because when it uploads to youtube it compresses it a ton so they can save on storage space because you know if say my videos average about five gigs per video which is like a 40 minute recording or a 40 minute video so if everyone were to upload you know a five gig video YouTube's storage problems would be astronomically higher than it currently is because how many people are uploading videos a day on YouTube a ton so Yeah, I've just been having a lot of fun on YouTube as recent, you know, the whole OCRP stuff going on. I'm just having a great community of people to, you know, play with and everything is super awesome. And I'm super grateful for the community and just, you know, um, everybody subscribing, watching the videos. You know, I'm, I'm averaging like 100 video views per video, which is amazing Keep considering right. as of like Adventure two months ago. Right. I would upload a video and it would get like 20 views. Oh, cutting this truck off. Turn right. Keep right and then exit right. Exit right. Turn right. Turn right. Keep right and then turn right. Oh, dang, we're already here. Turn right. I didn't realize this was our destination. Must be here. Has to be. All right, so I think we uh, we screwed up a little bit. I gotta back out of here. This is it. That's Taco Bell for a delivery it point. It was a nice ride. But it is definitely a Dollar General. Point, I don't need the money or the experience, I don't think, because I think this is this is just kind of like a fun account I have. To kind of buy and make stuff for videos i eventually want to start a career back on this and kind of do a series of uh me growing as a trucker but we will kind of have to see what that comes about here's what we're gonna do. this turn the wheel all the way this way now we're going to back this baby up Pull 
forward to straighten up and we should be able to go straight back. Alright, now we're going to go straight back. backup key instead of oh, straighten up a little bit more. This and pull up. Like that. Alright, and there you guys have it. It took us 36 hours to drive that far, which is basically an hour and a half real time. And we gained a lot of experience. Yeah, we don't need the experience. I don't know why I did that. But it was for the video sake, guys. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, we're going to drive here. Uh, we're just going to get out of this parking lot and kind of just uh, end the video here. Yeah, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of Almost at OCRP. Uh, definitely, this is American Truck Sim. Don't want to cut this corner too sharp here. I definitely noticed since I got this wheel kind of figured out, um, I've been able to truck a little better. So, yeah, it definitely helped. Ooh. Didn't check that way when I left. But, yeah, it's definitely helped me become just a better uh, trucker in ATS, which... I like because I want want the realism aspect of this game. You know, that's why I got it. That's why I enjoy it. So I'm just going to head right here to this gas station and we're going to kind of pull off and rest. Um, basically for me to end the video and get out of APS. Don't need fuel guys, just passing through. Alrighty, and there you guys have it. That is going to do it for this episode. Uh, one final look at the truck here. I don't think I showed that off at the beginning of the video. But we were FedEx Freight, if you guys didn't realize that. Okay, we're going to go ahead and shut off our engine here. And that is going to do it, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, click the subscribe button down below. Hit the little bell icon to be notified of all future videos. I'm going to be doing more ATS uh, along with this video. And yeah, don't forget to join Jumpy's Clubhouse. It's my Discord group. Trying to grow into a nice little community. I'll see you all in the next video or ATS video if you guys only watch this. Peace out.